Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video is five of the biggest financial mistakes home daycare owners make. So let's get into number one, not keeping track of your spendings. Anytime you buy anything like toys, furniture, office supplies, etc., you want to make sure that you're keeping track of everything you're spending money on so that when it's time to file your taxes, you have proof of all of your income. So it's always best to keep all of your receipts tucked away in a folder for tax season. Number two is not keeping track of your income. You wanna have a system right away with each and every family of how you take payments and how you keep track of these payments. So you can either do this through a receipt book or you can use a payment log. At the end of the year, you'll need to provide all of the families with a tax statement and you will also need this information to file your own taxes. Number three is not setting aside a percentage of your earnings to pay back to the IRS. As daycare providers, we are required to pay back taxes to the IRS on everything that we've earned. So you'll want to find out right away with your state what your tax rate is and how you will be paying these taxes back. Typically, we can do this either weekly, monthly, or yearly. Number four is not setting your prices correctly. Every state and town has their own market rate. This market rate is basically the price of how much childcare is going for in your area. So you'll never want to charge way higher than the market rate because you may not get any clients, but you also don't want to be charging way lower because you may not be making enough income. You'll also want to figure out what is typically included in daycare for the week in your town or area. So do parents provide the food, the diapers, the wipes, or do you, the childcare provider, include those things? And this is so important because you never want to offer too much in your prices to where you aren't making enough back. Number five is underestimating your startup cost. So typically there are trainings that we have to take, safety equipment that we'll need to buy like gates, smoke detectors, fire extinguishers, and then if you are in a state that requires you to pass a final inspection, you may need to make either minor or major renovations. So a minor renovation could be something like patching up a hole in one of your walls, whereas a major renovation could be building a fence around a pool. So I hope that today's video was helpful for you guys. I'm wishing you all the best as you go out and create safe daycare programs for children. And as always, I hope that you all have a blessed day and a blessed week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.